the biggest Vegas. thing you're gonna see the difference in Vegas. Everybody that's in Vegas looks like me and Dusty. Right. White dudes with beards. That's it. There's, it's not very diverse in the craft beer culture in Trust Vegas. Me. I experienced that everywhere I go. That's why I feel like I'm taking over. of Drunk in Public. I'm your host, Victor Santana. And this is my boy right here, uh, Drew. Bringing people together one beer at a time, one bottle share at a time. And we just doing a late podcast after doing an epic bottle share and drinking at another spot oh, yeah. with everybody here. So first and foremost, I want to thank Sean and uh, Beer Zombie. And, uh, beer Canvas. Beer, beer Canvas, sorry. Apologize. Uh, but uh, hosting an epic bottle share, Beer Destination. Next one's going to be in Vegas. Vegas, April 27th. Uh, so uh, it's going to be exciting. This was an epic show out of beer. And uh, we talked a little bit about the difference between beer uh, places before. But I wanted to hear from you guys real quick. What do you guys like that disliked about the beer scene here? Well, I got to explore it a little more. <laughs> True. Fair enough. It's, Fair enough. Yeah. it's, 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 it's kind of hard to judge it off of going to one awesome event. You know? True. <laughs> so if I left today, I would go back and be like, the Dallas beer scene is awesome. Fair enough. Cool. Now tomorrow, if I go and it's shitty somewhere else, then I might change my mind. <laughs> Experience. But yes, as of today, it, it was very welcoming, very good, very diverse, which is nice. A lot of good people, a lot of beer. Everyone was friendly. For, you know, it was good. It was a good spot. Good times. No, well, first of all, foremost, I'm glad you guys came out. You guys brought some epic beers. I think everybody here brought some epic beers. There was a lot of good beer today. That was a, a well, lot. We popped what over almost 200 bottles. There had to have been 200. It had to be more than that, probably. Yeah. That's what Ricky, rookies do, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm walk away now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you guys that we was going to bring over 100. I was just teasing. Man. You was over 300. And that just happened, man. We had everybody come in town, baby. And we just felt it, baby. And I put, you know what? Let me, let me calm down. You know what? I got emotional. I, I, I just got emotional, baby. Because everybody came out, baby. And we fellowship, man. Yeah. My boys from New York showed up. My boys from Vegas showed up. My boys from Maryland showed up. They had to leave early, but hey, that's what happens. But yo, man, that's Fort Worth. Thank you, man. Thank Good you. Good times. Yo, you know, you know, uh, I'm going to give all the sponsors a special shout out tomorrow. There's so many. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody came out. But no, no, we, we got it in, baby. That's just what it is, baby. We, we, we took our time and grabbed some beer and put it in our mouth. That was fucking epic. Man. Not mouth, but mouth. We put it in our, that. We put it in our mouth. <laughs> and we and swallowed, swallowed it, it yeah. together. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll yeah. craft beer. That is. That yeah, is. You, <laughs> came, yeah, you came to me with a, with a very awkward. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I was so, like, so, like, oh, he tells me he has a bottle. He's like, hey, man, you should put this in your mouth and swallow it. And I, and I didn't, I'm like, look, I'm like, dude, what the fuck is he talking about? He's like, craft beer. That is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see his glass water? And, uh, yeah. To be facing the so other direction when that conversation happened yeah. too was <laughs> you know, shit. what is going on over there? <laughs> they they were, they first of first most, he fucked up by not giving his glassware. His glassware says hashtag put it in your mouth. And then the other side says craft beer. So he should have showcased the glassware yeah. first and foremost. So it was cool, man. But yo, it great everybody came out. Kick ass time. Yeah. Over 200 beers. Probably close to 300 out of network beers Definitely. across the goddamn country. We put it in your mouth. We told you we was bringing it to you. You put it in your mouth and just swallowed it. You know, let me stop. I, t- I get <laughs> okay. an emotional. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, right. Yeah, it was Dallas Fort Worth. Swallow it. Was a lot of fun. What we called it? Uh, hashtag. Uh, keep Dallas shit face. Keep Dallas shit face. That's why we got the party. Keep Dallas shit face. Yeah. Yeah. Big props so, to so the so board. I got a you, you guys are all, you guys are all, yeah, big props to everybody that came out, but I, you guys are all pretty well versed in like the uh, bottle share arena and whatnot, right? So, you guys have any good, any good stories, crazy events that happened at a bottle share? What's the craziest thing you guys have seen go down at a bottle share? Did somebody pass out in their car in the parking lot in the middle of the summer with the air conditioner on? Ooh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds pretty <laughs> so uh, three, uh, three of us went out and rocked the car. So the wheels were coming off the ground until he woke up. That feels like a normal time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a good, that's a good time. We won't mention his name. Yeah. <laughs> but 
I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. The, the funny part is that dude is friends with somebody that lives here. Because, with like three or four people. Yeah, because they had <laughs> models from him in Vegas at the share today. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm drinking his beer. Somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody cruised up with a Pugachev. And we knew exactly who it was from. Daniel 24. And Paul passed that. Member only bottle. And I was like, damn, yeah. they made it all the way out here. That's awesome. Like, nice. good to see them. Because they're super small out of Redlands. Yeah. Well, and nice. I think I know two people that I've ever met that are members there. Oh, oh, they oh. sell out all the time. Hey, yeah. Their membership is a I, few and far between. I was a membership. I gave up my 2019. Yeah, I, they make some good stuff. They make some dope stuff. Um, he did sneak in a smoked beer on us, though. I'm just headed for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need smoked beer. So smoked beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was it was like a smoked cherry maple wood something or other, but it was very yeah. good. It was smoky. Like, like, smoke like peaty smoke. How, yeah. how do you do that, though? Smoked woods. Chips. Barrels. Yeah, yeah, chips. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Smoked malts. Yeah, usually. smoked malts. It, it gets infused in yeah. like kind of like a bourbon so barrel. Instead of like, like a scotch barrel, like essentially. A, taking like yeah. the malts and roasting them, you can actually like smoke them in a smoker and then okay. put them in the beer and that. It takes yeah. the flavors out. That's yeah. almost like a Johnny Walker beer oh, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. That would be really scotch either. You just got off to the hunt and you just like, you know, got the freaking deer skin on the wall and everything. Ah. Everybody's sitting next to the campfire and you're like, yeah, I like the smell of this dying deer and the smell of this wood and everything like that. Let's just, ah, there you go. That's, that's great. I, I can't do that. No way. That's a, little epic, that's a little visual right there for you. Oh, that's about smoke beer. Yeah. That's a that's real visual right there. Like like so, so that's like smoking meat. Where are we going with this? I don't know. That's a little yeah, visual yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, I like this shit. I'm following you. Yeah. 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 Last yeah. year at the festival. Last year at the Beers Night Festival, the day after, we had the do a big share and we were lining them all up on this thing. And a homeless dude walks by and he just like takes the three liter. Just <laughs> big boys. Oh, walks just off. Walked and, yeah. Yeah. He didn't walk. He sprinted. Yeah. Yeah. He sprinted. He was like, he, 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 no, it was empty. It was oh, empty. He just walked the ball. Yeah, man, he, he knew exactly what he wanted. Yeah, but it'd be yeah. cool to just walk. You can't hate on him, dude. He was like, yeah, I'm going straight forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he thought it was gonna. Uh, At least he got the big ball. That's what I'm saying. Well, around with this. I don't know what to say about the hobo, but beer campus. How do you like it down so far? And the thing about thing about Texas that. At least, you know, today, what Sean did was we had, you know, we know Dallas showed out big, right? But Austin, San Antonio, Houston, you had crews from yep. all the major cities yep. in the surrounding areas. Yep. Going here. So the support and, and that the togetherness was definitely out. Shout out. Yeah. Mm. What I, what I want to piggyback on that is this. For, for you guys may not know, there's a big anniversary party that was happening today at the same time as this bottle share. Oh, really? Oh. So wow. it was the 6th anniversary of Community Brewery. Shout out to Community. I love them to death. But there's a lot of people who went there. They, I think they sold over 800 tickets Oof. for their... Uh, they had, six, had 65 beers on tap. It was a massive anniversary party. I was there before I went to the bottle share. Massive amount of people. A lot of us who went there first, then came to the bottle share. So that... Let you know how important to us as an uh, actual beer community, how important this bottle share was, because people skipped that anniversary straight straight to the bottle share, yeah. and people drove out to be there. So mm. it's very important, you know. People came out to support. So yeah. shout out to everybody who drove out there. Shout out to everybody who came with other beer from beer community from supporting Houston, right. supporting uh, Austin, San Antonio, because yeah. they are also big beer communities. Even though I think Dallas is better, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. gotta show them love too, you know. Well, we got so we got Dallas is the first stop. And destination bottle mm-hmm. chairs, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so Vegas we got next. Vegas next. April exactly. 27th. You guys are showing out? That's the date set. April 27th. So, so I, what 27. I heard from Vegas, I need about $3,000 <laughs> for a bottle. That's for the first day. That's for the first day. <laughs> so go on me. Uh, that's for your yeah. room. Yeah. That's for your hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, it's going to be an experience of somebody there. Once in a lifetime experience. You're paying for the real estate. For $4,500, I'll do it on Speedo. Do a speedo? Yeah. I'll bring it. And, and, and I'll even do this. I'll say, put it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's on camera. That's on camera. Listen, so GoFundMe is going to start right now. I need about $4,500 to get in the speedo and a big bottle of beer. I can not see me in a speedo. Yeah. I'll, st- yeah. I'll start the counter. Yeah, the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see who raises more. Uh, no fair. speedo or speedo. I think your people might show up. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. Yes. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yes. And every-
everything's legal, I think, right? In uh, Las Vegas. Well, that's yeah, what they tell you when you land. Pretty pretty much, much, right. It's pretty much there. <laughs> Not yeah. prostitution. Yeah. No, no, who's that's a prostitution? No, I mean, they're that's almost there. I mean, everything. <laughs> they're getting all four corners, man. You know, alcohol, weed, prostitution, whatever you got on. Well, it's, first it's of all, I'm confused now. He said prostitution not legal. No, it's not You're legal. saying prostitution is legal. It's not legal in Vegas. So no. what I'm saying is prostitution is legal. So go out there and see what happens. I was afraid. No, 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 I'm just joking. I'm no, just joking. I'm just joking. Wind up with a felony. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's on everybody's record. Well, you know what? It's quads. I just want to ride a quad. It's quads. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to a sand dune. Quads and beer. Well, so that's the, that's the one thing I about Vegas is a lot different from what you guys have. So you guys have Dallas, and I'm, I'm not real familiar with the geography, but you have Austin and yes. whatever. You have all these other surrounding cities that aren't that far away. Yes. So Vegas is on its own little island. I mean, yes. Because it's Vegas, and, and then it's three and a half hours to California. It's yes. three hours to Utah. It's three hours to there. You know, yeah. so there's not – the community there is small. But it's everyone knows each other and pretty much supports each other. But there's not a lot of help from outside cities and communities. Mm-hmm. Whereas here in like California and stuff, if you're doing right. one event like in LA, you get people like from San Diego, you get people from all the way up north because right. they can drive okay, down. Yeah. So it's it's just a lot different. But I that's kind of cool that you guys get that aspect of because we don't get that. Well, I, I, I would have like I said, major shout outs to the uh, to the groups at Austin family. You know, slide on to the little bit to the to the right to the east. You know, the, the Houston family. And then don't slip on San Antonio. It's, it's family, man. Uh, those organizations that, I mean, man, three organizations from Houston, four organizations from Austin, two organizations from uh, uh, San, yeah, San Antonio that came up. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. I mean, and it's more than just craft beer. Um, we call it around here craft beer underground. It's underground. It's 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 an underground network that people is forgetting about. That's bringing money to the table, mad money, because you got craft beer drinkers that would drink two or three, you know, beers. Oh, it's craft beer, yay! But you know what? When you get them craft beer underground gangsters, we're gonna pay twenty five dollars a bottle, and we want all of them, <laughs> and we're not being respected. And then you wonder why we do all you know stuff like we do. Well, we talked about that. We, we, we had a, a very in-depth conversation about a lot of different things before the podcast actually started. But part talk, of that... Talking shit. Talking mad shit. Well, I was talking the shit. I was talking yeah, that shit. Talk that shit. <laughs> but a lot of it was spending money. Spending money on buying good drinks and maybe buying in bulk and stuff like that. Is, do you guys do that a lot in Vegas? You buy in bulk a lot of good beers and stuff like that and then trade it or you just keep it and sell it? Both. Both? I went through phases. Like at one point, I was up to around like 35, 3700 bottles in my cellar. Yeah. And now, oh, you. no, <laughs> sound about right. No, that sounds about right. That's but, underground. Yeah. That's but now, underground. now I've I've been weeding it out, drinking, going to bottle shares. I'll bring cases to bottle shares. You know, if if someone is new in the community that is getting into it, I'll build them like a little starter pack. Like here you go. Like so I'm here's twenty bottles. Please, please, please drink this. Yeah. Please take this. That's exactly. Cool. Cool. And now I'm down. To, you know, I'm down to probably like. Like 500 now. So like we're getting started in the craft beer scene. This is the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> they want that donation. I appreciate that. I think mean, it's cool to see like uh, what we've kind of come to encounter within the craft beer scene itself. And, and especially today was a good highlight example of that is everyone's really friendly, man. Everyone's cool. Everyone's a, nobody's like looking down on you if you want to like, learn to drink and or, you know, what have you, right? So. It's really the social aspect of drinking that's kind of highlighted whenever, especially at these bottle shares, is mm. people come together, they're all bringing like different good beers that they appreciate and think other people are gonna appreciate. So it's cool, man. And, and, and uh, to see people bring beers from different regions is really cool because, you know, you get a whole new experience. Like we were talking about uh, just different areas of the U.S. So it's cool. It's cool. So well, beer camp. So you're going to donate. Money. You're going to donate to our starter pack? Starter pack. The salary starter kit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like he's about to donate himself to bed. I'm not going to lie. He's like, whoa. Well, well, I keep yelling their name every so often because both Beer Cabin's crew is about to go to bed. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you don't want to tap out, but they're as once they're done, they're done. They're done. They're done. Yeah, we're stoic. You guys are from New York City. We don't sleep. We don't sleep. We don't. We don't. We don't sleep. There's going to be banging. Don't worry about it. We don't sleep. No. Queen's represent. Queen's represent. I mean, I'm from Bronx. She sleeps there. But anyway, we are starting a beer starter pack, so if you want to donate... 
<laughs> we'll take it. Ain't no offense to that. And you'll drink it. I'll drink it. Well, you I put it in your mouth. You put it in your so mouth. And you'll solve it. So you're you going to drink whatever I give you. <laughs> right. Yes. Don't open this Victor door. Will. Yes, Victor. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got some bottles that, that I'll, I'll give you if you're going to drink it. I'll take it. R. Kelly bottles? I'll take it too. Too soon. Too soon. Do not put that in your mouth. I'm going to my bourbon. Well, my bad, that was too soon. R. Kelly's been pissing on kids since 2000. So right. Right. <laughs> you, you uh, but what I, what, I, what I want to talk about, too. <laughs> I want to see how you're going to segue the way you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. How do we move? Let's go. R. Kelly pissing on kids since 2000. So what I was saying. So how, how you, I really how love this community. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> well, on that note about R. Kelly, on that note about R. Kelly, we were talking about before the podcast, too, how beautiful the beer community is in Chicago. I... Honestly, think the Dallas beer community is the best. But here's the caveat to it: I haven't seen the rest, and I will always say I haven't seen the rest. But in my humble opinion, I think we have the best scene. But you have to explain why you think it's the best scene, right? Because you have you have specific criteria as to what makes the best scene in your mind. So for people who this is your first episode of seeing this, I've always talked about this. I think the communal aspect of Dallas beer scene is the best, uh, as inclusive, how yes. uh, welcoming. How inviting and educational part of the beer scene for Dallas is, as far as regardless what bottle you bring. Because as far as the intricate of beer selling, the Dallas Beer Squad covered that. Between Sean, Beer Hulk, they sell a bunch of big beers. They uh, have a lot of big uh, uh, stock of beers. Friends. And they're willing to trade bottles and talk about big boy bottles. And as far as if you want to be like, when we first started out doing the beer scene about a year ago, we didn't know much. Friends. So they were like, Cool, you don't know, come here. Let me just break it down just simple things about maybe malt yeah, and why different things about malt or yeah. what's the difference between barrel day style beers and very educational part of it and willing to say, hey, come along, don't worry about paying for shit, we're gonna take care of you. Swallow it. So I in that within that aspect of it, I think we have the best. And I've been somewhat to Austin, somewhat to Houston, and I don't feel the same way. In doesn't mouth. mean they doesn't mean they don't do it. But so, I don't know. so what he's saying is he's, he's ready to try the all all four stops of the destination. Yeah, are you gonna make the all four stops? I'm gonna try to. First of all, so, I'm poor. First of all, I'm poor. He's so for because he's from. Well, you don't want me number two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so, I, 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 I will say. Vegas. <laughs> I will he's say. Yeah. Vegas, he's ready to yeah. pass out. Flying from DFW <laughs> to Las Vegas, extremely flo- affordable. Yeah, it's super. Flying super to cheap. Uh, New York is extremely so, affordable. Mm-hmm. Affordable, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but Maryland. So here's the thing about this we is, go fund me. Van and Carpool, or <laughs> hey, Ma- go fund me. <laughs> so we meet in New York and drive down. So people who want to go support us, you can donate money to the Dallas Beer Talk, <laughs> and we can be at every event. But reason why is I'm from New York City originally, and why I live here in Dallas is for that reason. Flying from flight to San Diego is only 120. From Vegas, is like 100 bucks quick to find a flight. From here to New York, it's 120. From here to Fort Lauderdale, it's 120. So it's extremely affordable to fly out of Dallas to a lot of places I like to go. And you guys' mm-hmm. airport's super easy. We were talking about that today. Super easy. So we're sitting off the plane. I, I've never extra, walked, grabbed a bag. Out of the door. I was like, to the baggage Yeah, plane. I was like, that's crazy. There's like an individual like baggage check. I was like, yeah. and how massive we are because we're the biggest uh, airport country in the world. This dude looked at me like an idiot. We're walking off the plane. I'm like, you know what baggage check we're at? He's like, he goes, that one. Go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't go to JFK. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> so if you go to Vegas, there's 30 Vegas checks, man. Yeah. You so you're like, which one of these here? We're looking at screens and shit? No, this one. You walk out, it's right there at the door. Yeah, they're pretty Yeah, they're pretty good on keeping so, it straightforward. But yeah, I think if you're going to say that Dallas is the best, you at least got to experience a few other no, ones. I do. That's to make one yeah, you like, do. Like, like, I got to say, like, Portland had a crazy beer scene. The Pacific Northwest you, great, you talk great about beer like Love it. everyone loves beer. Really? There was a place I went to called Acropolis. You heard of Acropolis? Okay, Acropolis, the guy who owns it, I think, owns like a ranch nearby, so it's farm to table steaks. Ooh, You're talking like nice. filet mignons for eleven bucks. I'm in T4. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sixty four local taps. Really? And it's a strip club. Sign me up. What? I'm you saying you first don't have that. First of all, first of all, first of all, you didn't start saying. with the strip club part of it. Okay, guys. Sixty-four. I went and I went in order. 
I think of, of, of value there because that no, steak is insane. Yeah. Yeah. You had your yeah. say, no, yeah, 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 I'm just saying the steak was big up. So all I can say about this, this is true. I don't, I don't know a lot about other beer cities, but I'm not saying that I'm a shit on them. What I want to do is experience it because yeah. I think we have the best. So if I think we have the best, I need to go experience that shit. Uh, so challenge. That's, so that's why I want to go to the bottle destination. But not just that because that's different though. When you do a big event like this, people are gonna show up. Yeah, yeah. you don't really today. experience the whole scene by doing right. a, a, a grand event. You well, gotta you gotta be there a couple of days. You gotta go to a couple of breweries. You gotta go to a couple of bottle shops. You gotta just go in, not. Low key, hang yeah, exactly. out by myself exactly. and see what happens. The no. thing about an event though is that you get to meet the people. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the one thing about an event that's different from going to the breweries. Because mm-hmm. you go to the breweries, you try the beer. And you meet the people who work yeah. in the breweries. So this if you go to an event like this, you so, get to meet the people from like whether whether it be Dallas, Austin, San, you meet the people. That's a you know, that's so a whole different his, This is my so. aspect of what I want to do when I go travel to places. Because yeah. I'm gonna start doing a road trip. I'm gonna do one in March to New Mexico for a new brewery out there. But here's the thing, how I want to do it is this. I'm going to do a road trip, and then I'm going to look up beer blogs, beer bloggers, beers on uh, Facebook, mm-hmm. whatever, hit them up. It's like, where I want to go? Who should I hang out with? What bottle place I should go to? And then see what people say. Because when you do it here in Dallas, we'll meet you. So that's what, so before I came, I posted this thing on my story. It was like, I'm going to be in Dallas, 119, 120. What are some must fit hot, uh, hit spots? I probably had, you know, 200 people answering, 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 and I took the consensus and picked three that was the most suggested, and mm-hmm. that's where I'm going tomorrow. Like, Celestial came up, everyone was like, you should go to Celestial, Celestial, yeah. Celestial. I was like, cool, I'm gonna go there. You know, the Craft and Growler place, that one popped up a lot. That, you know, I wanted to go there, I didn't get to go tonight, but I wanna go there tomorrow. There was a couple that just, I have a list, and that's the same thing that I do. You know, you yeah. ask the people that are there, and yeah. if, if, sure, if yeah. 50 people say this is the spot you should go, then it's probably the spot you should go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah sure. You know what? That's dope. You can get spots too. But I got some underground spots. No, for sure. And I like that too. I like to go to, you know, spaces that it's not necessarily the most popular off, or whatever, but. Off camera, I'm going to let you know. You know what? No, fuck that. Get them, give, give their flowers while they're alive. Yo, the <laughs> best underground spot in Dallas, Strange Ways. Strange Ways? Yeah. What's that? Mm. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. There's exactly. A, is there, there's Y'all don't strange know ways. nothing about that. Strange way. Strange way is straight underground gangster craft beer. Strange way. Is there something called like brain dead? Yeah. Brain, brain dead. Oh, so that was brain the other one. Yeah. Brain they're like, they're like, dude, you gotta go there. Yeah, like, beer zombies dead. has to yeah. go to yeah. brain dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than yeah. yeah. that yeah. 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 But see, that was the one that everyone. Brain dead. To my opinion, Brain Dead has better food than they have beer, but okay. they have all the other beers there too from other local. You guys listen to right. the see, food at the breweries here. Like every time you yeah. tell yourself, like oh you know, God. our beer is good over exactly. here, someone else in another city, in another town, in another state, in another country is going to say, "Well, oh, ours is just as good." But then it's just like challenge. You're like, fine. All right, let me it. ask. Let me ask you this. Prove it. What is your absolute favorite brewery in Texas? <sighs> Manhattan Project. Uh oh. Texas or Dallas? Well, I don't see. I know Texas. You know what? How about both? Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Within like the, the state of Sean, Sean's answer is going to be more complicated. Mine's going to be simple. Exactly. Woo! Mine's going to be simple. Bad project. You're sweating already. Bad <laughs> <laughs> project. I'm not, I'm not sweating. Bad project. I'm the best brewery in my opinion. Ooh. So you're, you're, taking, project. you're taking the consider, like Gesture King, like Fuck over all that. I don't like sours. Man. You will, don't worry. Yeah, no, so like, so my heart hurts, hurts right now. Beer. I know. My heart hurts. Have you ever seen <laughs> this, like, yeah. that evolution of a yes. beer drinker and it's like. He's been talking about that yeah. forever with me. He's you're like, you're like yeah. halfway right here, and then you'll, you'll start standing yeah. up like sour, and then back to the tech to pills. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. 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 understood this about Victor That's thus far. He's really hard headed, and uh, he's got to be. Pursuing. So, like, what he so likes about yeah. recently is because yeah. I always said I hate IPAs too. I, I oh. really don't like hoppy IPAs. I mean, mm. it's not enjoyable. I, mm. I like. Uh, I like balance, I like flavor, I like stouts and porters. <laughs> so I don't like something to be overpowered. That's, a, that's one vote off the island right there. <laughs> but what I, what I, what I, what I would <laughs> say is this, IPAs has grown on me, and I really do like the juicy IPAs. And I do like New England style IPAs, certain variants of those. But I still don't like, I will never say IPA is my go-to variants, but it is what it is, I enjoy it more. As far as sours, I don't like sour candy. I don't like sour anything. It's hard for me to say I will enjoy sour. You know that sour beer doesn't have to be acidic. No, it doesn't. Right. Well, if you ever if you ever yeah, talk to salt, like we have a person. Uh, you need to get some in your life. Black yeah. man brew. Yeah. You got spawn right here. I, 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, we lost the question. The question yeah. was. So Manhattan. Yeah. What's so your context? context? And what's no, the... it's not your question. Me? It was Sean's he question. Was, no, he was throwing at the table. He was throwing at Sean first, right? Yeah. But Sean he's thinking. Answer. He's still thinking. No, no, no. Okay, what is it? I don't have to think. It just I have a complicated answer because I can't say my complete, real, well-rounded brewery. Unfortunately, I do not have a well-rounded brewery. I have my likes of certain breweries. Okay. If you say stouts, mm -hmm. to me, the best stouts drink in the tap room and bottles, San Antonio, where the soaps. What about Coke? Really? really? Mm -hmm. In my opinion. I get really? that. I'm now, a firm believer in like let people do what they're good at. Exactly. If you're what, good at stouts, fucking make stouts, bro. No, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but, but also, my second best stouts in the tap room in the bottle no disrespect it ain't where it needs to be mm. lakewood if you go to lakewood and drink their stouts in the brewery hands down i'll put against anybody lakewood that much under lakewood is tubs if you go to tubs and drink their stouts at the brewery i don't know no disrespect. I don't know what the hell is going on in them cans. Yeah. Bottles. I don't know what's going on in them bottles. Yo, bottles are I'm different. Hey, bottles are different. Bottles this is why I love bottles. underground. Well, this is underground. This ain't mainstream. Sean, yeah. Speaking to it's just Chris's what it point. Is. Speaking to Chris's point, I asked some people what to do about beer when I'm in Dallas and Texas. Someone told me Lakewood Temptress. Temptress. Oh, yeah. oh, oh drought. I'm sorry. No, no disrespect. Temptress. Lake. Yeah. But in bottle, kill good. yourself. Go to the brewery, drink it. That's what it is. They got a couple of different variances. That's pretty damn dope. Vice versa, tups. Yo, dope as fuck at the brewery. Now, if I'm feeling juicy, I'm not going to lie. Turning point. That's just what it is. Yeah, That's just okay. what it is. Turning point. I think turn point. That's just what it is. If you want that juice, far. turn it point. Yeah. Now, my family from Celestial, that's my family. I would never say turn it, uh, Celestial is killing the game right now. Turn the point is killing, and that's just facts. Now, turn the point just opened up three months ago. Mm -mm. Turn point. Celestio. Celestio. So oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Celestio just opened up three <laughs> months ago. Now, really, where Did they're where, yeah, they yeah. are so far above the curve in three months, they get respect. Now, <laughs> you say third. You, you say turning point. Three months? Nah, they still dialing it in. Celestio, three months? They damn near done dialing it in. But I still get total to straight turning point. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. You make turning this question point. complicated, man. No, but, but you can't answer that question. Nah, fair enough. I can't, I can't have it because I got different styles. Now, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get cussed out. I don't have no kids, but I'm so. I'm so. I do not have kids, but I'm so ready to ski, ski. So you better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Switch places. You better watch out. You feel me? So I don't have kids. And you should get weird. That's your seat, huh? But you're asking my question. But ski, ski to yourself, brother. My family. My family, and I don't give a damn if they push out shit beer. My family is Pentecostals. Really? Mm. That's First and foremost, they don't push out shit beer. They push no, out I some really if, good beer. They I push out if, really good beer. If they push out shit beer. What is it called? Pentecostals. That's, that's, that's my family. People said that today, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's my family. Mm -hmm. Period. Hands down. Pentecostals is one of the OGs here. They push some big boy beers out. Now, this one I'm going to piss a lot of people off, and I want y'all to hear yeah, this. Yeah, piss, piss people off. When was the time you sat in the brewery at Oak Highlands Brewery? I was just there. Motherfucker. Okay. Kill yourself. I went talking. over there. Oak Highlands was one of our sponsors. I went over there, picked up two cases, so much swag, and I tried seven beers out of 20. I looked up. I said, D, dude, I'm sorry. I haven't been here. I can't you just anywhere. took a picture there. Uh, exactly. So here's the thing. The funny thing you said that is because I've been talking about the podcast the last two episodes that we need to support Coke Collins. One of the Woo! OGs here that no one talked about. No one loves Oak Collins. And we just did a podcast there showcasing our love for Oak Collins because they got Oak good beer, Oak Collins, good fucking venue. Man. I went to Oak Collins and I tried seven beers out of 20 on tap. They had and it's solid. On tap. They had 20 on tap with 11 different strings of yeast. Out of 20, 
I looked, I said, I'm sorry. It's it's on me. I came when you guys first opened, you weren't dialed in, and I called you garbage. It's not on I, you. It's I not came you, by man. and ate a barbecue, the dude I sat, food mm. truck on the street. And I never been back. Oak Hollis. No, nah, you're not the only one though. Like I said, I take full responsibility because I was on a podcast. Oh. I was on a podcast talking about dude. breweries, talking about breweries and never mentioned Oak Hollis. Man. Oak Hollis, man. So let's move along. Oh, no, no, so, you're, you, you go. Yeah. What you got? What's your brewery? What's your go-to brewery? What's my favorite brewery? We'll talk about that for 45 minutes, Michelle. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm different. I would say Turning Swallow. Point for sure. Skeet, 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 skeet. I like Turning Point. Turning point. For me, it's, a, yeah. it's not just like environment, yeah. ambience, yeah. beer, but it's like 10 minutes from home, and that's like a plus. Neighbor, <laughs> neighbor. So, I mean, it's my neighborhood, and it's easy to get Man. to and back. So, I mean. Everybody knows your name. <laughs> so I think <laughs> Turning yes, Point sir. is my my place here. So. Can, I, can I side note on that? The big boy, that it doesn't make you not feel special when you go to a brewery and the people know you. The people I feel like you talk to. I feel like it's special. <laughs> I feel like it's special. You don't even order anything, they just slide you a beer. Uh, they're like, yo, Vic, they're like, hey, Vic. Are you sure? Like, here you go. Yo, Vic, new beer here. Try this for free. I'm like, thank you. Let's go. Anyway. Uh, but what if it's a sour? Uh, uh, no, uh, 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 that's that bad. They don't know you very well. No, it's again. I just don't like sour. I don't like high acidity things. It's the yeah. whole thing is balanced, but it is what it is. I'll figure it out one day. Right. But on you, Vegas. What's your go-to brewery? What's your go-to? Wow. Um, um, you're on the spot. You're on the spot. I don't know. We got a. We have a very interesting beer scene. It's gonna be like Sean. You're gonna name all of them. You're gonna prefer. No, no, I'm not actually. I just like to cruise around and try different things. It depends what I'm doing, who I'm with, what I'm eating, the so, weather that day. Some days I'll go in and order a hazy. Some days I'll go in and order a porter. I was going to say excited. So, I have to go a lot of so ways. So very, very yeah. similar where it depends where I'm at. Uh-huh. I well, let people do what they're good at. I believe mm-hmm. that in my outside of beer life, okay. in my professional life, and I believe that in the beer life too. Mm-hmm. Like, There's a reason I drive five hours to Bottle Logic every release. Fair enough. Fair enough. They're damn favorite. good at their stylus. So they're very exactly. What's your favorite exactly. style of beer? Favorite style of beer? You gotta narrow down to your favorite style, like go-to style. On a regular basis. I'll get real narrowed down for you. Barrel aged coconut stouts. Okay, Ooh, who does yes. a really good barrel aged coconut stout? Uh, Bottle Logic. Three Chiefs. True. Three Chiefs. Yep. Facts. Facts. Oh. Top, top three beers of 2018. Faha number one. And then it's a tie with. Who we have here? Fluffernutter from Black Aggie mm-hmm. and a stout barley wine blend from the answer called King first Malachi. Of, first of all, swallow it. First of all, I didn't try that. Did you put that shit in your mouth? I didn't try that shit. I would have put the whole 12 ounce bottle in there. First of all, I didn't try that. Second of all, yes. uh, Manhattan Project, you hear that? He's waiting for your uh, coconut stout. Uh, so Manhattan Bring Project. Bring it. Manhattan Bring Project. it, beer company on Instagram. Send me okay. all your stouts. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna do a podcast of a hand project soon. Once they give me a can, okay. I'll make sure I, or a bottle, I'll make sure I give I'm you in. some. Okay, uh, I'm in. <laughs> uh, sleepy, a uh, couple over there. What's going on? Where's your go-to? <laughs> <laughs> you go to? Want to go around New York? No, no. What's, what's your go-to, go-to uh, <laughs> brewery? What's your go? What's your go-to thing to drink? Nah, so I I can't answer that. I I drink everything, but. When it comes to like New York, I mean, saying, gonna shoot you for no, 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 no. But you were saying like you like when you go to a brewery and you know someone. That's and part, that's like, hey, I know you. Like, try this. We just got this on tap. Well, that's just the joy. I got, I got. You, I got you. But the thing about New York that's cool is that you can go into any of those breweries. You go to Three. You go to Folk Fair. You go to Other Half. You go to Innerboro. You go to Grimm. You go upstate, right? And you go to you know Middletown, Equilibrium. You go to Suarez. You go to Hudson Valley. All of them approach you the same way. They, 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 they don't. They're, they're not condescending. They're, they, they're inviting. You feel like you've been there a bunch of times, even if it's your first time in there, or even if you've never met the person behind the bar that particular day. Yeah, it's good. That's also, a nice fuck, you've vibe. Had a great scene. That's, awesome. That's a nice vibe. Yeah. So. Yeah, you don't want to laugh. You don't. He fucks with everybody. I, I really fuck with all the New York breweries. I think they all bring something to the table. If you could pick yeah. one style of beer you like, call me go to style. What do you say? Nah, I can't. Dude, like, what are you talking about? It's so easy. Lambic. 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 I already told you. That's, Lambic. Lambic. There's no other style of beer besides Lambic. Lambic. That's the best style of beer in the world. <laughs> hey, man. Band aids and horse blankets. Lambic. <laughs> Lambic. <laughs> Fair enough. Man. I'm not arguing this one, man. Lambic is. That's the. I'm not arguing this one. 
No, fair enough. You guys are being really PC. I like it. It's all good. But I mean, what what do you gonna, want me to do? You want me to no, I'm not going to make you say anything. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I, I mean, come nobody's on, Nobody's going to make you say anything. It's your choice like, to say like, whatever you want to like, say. Like, I don't feel like anybody's being PC, really. Nah. Give their opinion. My, my memory Honestly, bro, yeah, you drink bro. thousands of beer a year. Straight up. Like, but thousands of beers, I'm, When I say, when, it, when the question is, what's your go to, like, what's your brewery you like the most, it's not saying that you like just like anybody else. No, but it's... What's the one you like? But when yeah. you drink that volume, it's hard to pick one. That's okay. And it's, yeah. It is. It's okay. It's true. But, yeah. but, like, what's nice about the scene is that each one offers something very different. 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 Yeah. So you get something, if, if you want to go, like, sit outside and drink a beer, you go to threes. Whereas if you want like a night out and you're like, oh, it's Friday night, I want to see some people, I want music, you go to Grimm. Uh, so it, it's different and you get something, that, like, mm-hmm. I don't always feel like, oh, right now I want a barley wine or right now I want a Pilsner or right now I want an IPA. It's right. different, it, you know, if I'm eating a steak, maybe I want a stout, I don't yeah. know. Maybe I want, you know. That's pretty tough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Steak and stout. I, you, I, feel, I feel you. I like steak and stout. That's me. Maybe I'm fucked up on that. No, no one said you fucked up. I said it's tough. I, you know, I didn't say you were fucked up. Maybe that's my non-PC <laughs> opinion. You know what I mean? No one said you were fucked up. But, yeah. I, that's the thing. Like, you, it's it's nice like that. The one thing I wish we have more good sours in the city, but. You don't need that. We skip sours. Oh man, I don't know. Jeremy yeah, just cut you off. He's like, fuck you, man. We can skip sours. We don't need that shit. He's about to ask you right out of the gate with your sours. Right? Yeah, he's yeah. lambic he's right here, man. So he's like, like yeah. the lambic man. Yeah. That's, so, that's my jam. That's, that's, yeah, that's my jam. Yeah, that's my jam. That's just, as far as like desert island beer, I can only drink one for the rest of my life. St. Lamb from Cantillon. That's okay. Doesn't matter to me. There's nothing else that is anywhere close to that when it comes to beer, in my opinion, for no. my my taste buds. No, perfect. Yeah, it's like the pinnacle for me. I feel the same way about my hand brother, everything we do. Yeah, it's nice. Even though they don't sponsor the show, they should though. But I've been talking about them for about a year now. Dude, we had a dope ass giveaway for Man Hat. They gave like a ceramic growler. Mm-hmm. It, it was yeah. oh my god! I, I won that one. You got you got the the, gr- I got the Manhattan project one. It's nice. White. It's white. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Manhattan, <laughs> man. Manhattan, man. I was late to picking up the um the sponsorship. She put it in the back of a um uh, a so seven fifty. Yeah, she put it in the back of a seventy one uh four one fifty. I'm like, fuck this growl. I want to ride in this truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so people who don't know this, uh, Misty's uh, cold in my hand project. But I want to talk about her because I want to continue telling the story how gangster she is. She runs the whole Mahan project scene. She Thanks. runs the head brewer and her husband runs the, the logistics of it. Thanks. She keeps them both in check. Here's the thing. She gave birth to their second kid as they were continuing to open and promote themselves. She gave birth to her second kid. Three days later, she was doing promotion for the fucking Jeez. brewery. Three days, three days later, she's fucking gangster. I sometimes don't As do things shit. for three days if I get a headache. Right. <laughs> You're like, nah, this is not for not me. even squeezing a baby out. Right. <laughs> so the only reason I know about this event is because I was trying to meet with her and another person who was doing her interview. Uh, talking about Teeny from uh, that was, that was, that was, I'm not gonna acknowledge that. I'm not gonna acknowledge yeah. that. Your hype man in the corner is just throwing out some random. <laughs> I'm not gonna acknowledge that. that. One Yo. Time. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, that time he's, he's, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like the DJ Khaled of the, the <laughs> iPhone. <I'm just> <laughs> I guess he's the success. success. He just, he just, he's like, yeah, tell you about it. That's the right. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Long story short, Misty, you gangsta. Misty, you gangsta. That's all I gotta say about that. Wear your GPS beacon if you want to get to Misty took care of us, man. Misty, Manham Project was a major sponsor for the Destination Bottle Share uh, Dallas Edition. Shout out to Manham. Nah, they, 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 they represent. Guys, they they represent. Yeah, they're good people. They represent. I appreciate you. And I promise, I still want to drive that damn Ford 150. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for Vegas. I don't know what you guys. Oh, man. You know, so, what's, the, what's the date for Vegas again? So people can put April, this on the screen. April 27th. April 27th. April 27th. What day is here? 7th. 7th. April 27th. 27th. What day should we get there? February 23rd. February 23rd. <laughs> so we're going to get there February 23rd. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So get there February twenty third. Yeah, no, uh, I mean that's fri- you gotta if you're gonna come out to Vegas and you're gonna try to go hard, which most people do, come out for like four days. 
The problem yeah. is, is people come to Vegas and they're always like, I don't know how you live here. Well, because I don't have to do everything in 24 hours. That's why. Right. True. Yeah, so yeah. people come out and they're like, Friday, I got to do a day club, then a night club, and then no, an after hours no. club, and then I got to get no, up and do no. it. You know, if you're gonna come out for a few days and really see what it is. Like four days. Yeah. Realistically, Both. you're gonna come out. And you're gonna go no. fucking crazy the first and day, and then the next day you're gonna be mellow because you're gonna and you're gonna recover. recover. We've all been to Vegas and waste that here. second day. So right. if you've all been to Vegas, then the, yeah. the, the events on a Saturday come out yeah. Friday, leave on Sunday, and then you go yeah, perfect long weekend, somewhat perfect hard long the next yeah. day, the third day. Yeah. We all yeah. been to Vegas. The fourth day you'll cruise through in that. But medium. for people who just have been to Vegas, don't try to fit the bottle share with an other Vegas experience. Nope. Yeah. It's gonna ruin the. It's exactly. gonna ruin your fucking weekend. One, of, one yeah. of our really good friends had dinner plans after our festival last year. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Him and his girlfriend had fancy dinner plans, and she went to dinner by herself because she fell asleep. So long story short, <laughs> by six <laughs> <she's> not. <laughs> long story short, he's, she's not coming to the festival this year, and he is. <laughs> kind there are no he, he's doing together. one of the two days. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a two day festival. Cool. It's actually so I do um, for the festival. Sorry, yeah. destination share is one day. Yeah, and then I have my festival in February. So the festival is, is like a week long. So I do beer events each night leading up to it, and then Saturday is the beer festival, and then Sunday is the day after bottle share. Right. So cool. you can come out for one day, two days, five days. You know, there's like a whole thing. Oh, that's interesting. Similar to what we call uh, No Texas Beer Week, where we so have an event every day. It's Beer Zombies Beer Week. Literally. So there's a there's a beer event every single week featuring one of the breweries that's coming from out of state, and we do it that whole week. Oh, very cool. Badass. We have a blast. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. Like, come Friday night, pretty burnt out. You yeah, know, I'm tired. Pep talk your liver a little bit. Yeah, yeah. we can but do this. I'm also we not as young it. as I used to be, so there's that too. You know? What? Are you 22? Yeah, I wish, dude. 23. Dude, dude, look at this friend. Nah, it's like that's <laughs> die. That's all die, brother. That's all die. That's all find the blonde, my friend. Chris yeah. goes down in bottle shares all the time. This is this is nothing new. So, yeah, you know what I, I mean. I, I, this is what I do full time. Like. Your zombies have a full time job. This is what I do. Bottle right. shares. Yeah, so bottle shares. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Experience. Exactly. Uh, experience. It's 2018, 2019, but, yeah. baby. We do experiences. Yeah. Beer Anybody dinner. can have anything, a bottle share. Beer dinners, hosting yeah. things, you know, everything. That's what I do. So yeah. I'm pretty much doing something with beer six nights a week, five nights a week. Uh, that's awesome. So yeah. similar to someone uh, on our end, uh, Matt Dixon, who runs uh, North Texas Beer Week. Nice. Also, uh, do two one four. Also, uh, the Brew Bus. He does a lot of beer scenes here uh, for us in North Texas. Yeah. So that's badass, man. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's good. Keeps us busy. Keeps me fluffy. Yeah. All those extra calories. I feel you. There's a reason I'm not wearing a coat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot of snouts. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And then, uh, what's after Vegas? What's the next bottle destination? New York. New York. New York. Come on, man. So we're going to New York. So, what, so we don't know exactly where we're going yet. I got two places, and I have to figure out which one I'm going with. But, um, but yeah, the thing about this Destination Beer Shares Collective, mm -hmm. this, this team, is that we all do this in our respective areas. This is a turnkey operation. We're ready to go. We're only enhancing each other's bottle shares. We're only... Setting the bar higher for each other, and honestly, Mike, it was Mike's idea, and, and it was like as soon as he told me, I was like, "Dude, that's, that's awesome! Yeah, like you know, I want to be a part of that. It's it's a great idea. It makes sense, you know." And that's how you're saying, like trying to see other people's beer scenes. To me, this is really cool to see that, and I can't wait to go to New York and Maryland and just see how everybody else does it because everyone does it yeah. different, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys yeah. ran yours completely different than any of the bottle shares that I run in Vegas. Completely oh, yeah. different. Yeah. You know? Same yeah. for me, man. Same. And for I'm you. not gonna say why, you know, no, no, no. It's just, but it's completely different. Yeah. What's the little little differences? Because for us, it's a free fall kind of of a bottle share, but it's all love. We all help each other. Like we have within about like within a Dallas beer talk, typical bottle share. We have the one main bottle share and then two or three mini ones, but we all rotate bottles and help each other I mean, out. There, so before anybody there, answers, though, was anything different today than your normal bottle yeah. share? Oh, yeah, that's a good, of good question. Uh, just more beer. More beer. Just more beer. Just more beer. More beer. More beer. More beer. The, more beer. The, all right. The family atmosphere is cool because, like I say, well, I don't do bottle shares. I do experiences. And like I said, <laughs> and, and, and right I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick about it. It's what it is because anybody can have a bottle share that's, you know, sit around your boys or whatever, whatever. But no, when we have an experience, it's an experience. And that's just what it is. You can go home and say, damn, I tried 100, 200 beers, but I laughed all day long. Mm. Yeah. We, I caught myself not checking in 
because I was too busy having an experience. I checked in zero beers today. Exactly, because you have an experience. Yeah. yeah. And 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 it's just, it's just dope, man. It, it it that that makes it different. You know, you, you you bring everybody to the table, you 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 make them zone out, and do something different. Because like I say, a barbecue, yes. a cookout, a fish fry, anybody can do that. Right. But a barbecue or a cookout fish fry with an experience, yo, that's that's different. So everybody's is 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 tagging, everybody is 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 is, is blogging about that, and it's. <coughs> That's what we need in Dallas. It's something different. Well, you know, like that's what the Dallas Biz Squad is bringing. I can't something like different. It. One of the cool things about the share that you, that, you know you guys hosted today was that you know we don't always see this at ours. There was actually a lot of trading going on. Yes, people were bringing yeah. beers to exchange with other people. That was a nice environment. I thought that yeah. you know it, that should be incorporated more maybe into future destination beer share mm-hmm. events. That's the thing we because that was excellent. When we at breweries, mm-hmm. we can't no. promote home breweries because it's TABC laws. Sure. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. can't bring like. But when we well, at a BYOB restaurant or at a designated place, we bring in home brewers in Dallas that's kicking ass. We bring in people that's that's trying to get started. Uh, we bring in restaurants or uh, or. Or people that's starting business, maybe it's cookies, maybe maybe it's whatever. We put everybody on the scene that's so that's small. So you walk in like damn, like the, like the gift bag today. We gave like dope as buy one get one free cookies from Kessler uh, Baking Studio. If you ain't had a cookie from them, you ain't had a cookie. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just gonna be no disrespect. For, uh, what's the cookie place? Oh, yeah. come on, man. Uh, on Tip Street. No disrespect to tips, uh, uh, tip, tip, treat. tip treats. No disrespect, but your cookies ain't got shit on Kelsey. I'm <laughs> call a spade a spade. I like how you said no disrespect, but you ain't shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. But tip, tip, my mom taught me a very important lesson. Tips is good now. Everything you say before butt is bullshit. Right. Right. <laughs> but it's socially Tip. acceptable. Though. I also heard that you can't say I'm not trying to be rude unless you're R. Kelly. Hey. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Tim's treats cookies are good. Hands down. If you want a cookie every day, but if you want a cookie better, cancel it. Just, I'm just curious how you missed the fat kid with the cookies for that. Did you, did you get did you win a bag? Did you win a bag, though? Did you get a bag? I didn't get a bag. We had a cookie. We had to win one. There was, they was another sponsor. They gave the cookies uh, uh, coupons. Buy one, get one free. Damn. Limited edition. It was in the... Who was the girl that made the cookies with the logo? Oh, there? Kitty Cat. Oh, okay. I didn't get to see him in person, but I saw a picture. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't I see him in person, I didn't but I saw, saw him and yeah. yeah someone's like, did you see this? Right I was like, like hell bad, dude. I, yeah, when sorry, I saw those cookies, I put them in the car. Check. I got them in the car. Right now. Wait a minute, what? Oh, like, I got them in the car. I got them in the car right now. No, but, uh, uh, but what's, what what can we expect from, because this is, our audience is mostly Dallas, and most people who come to the, came to the bottle shops there come to a lot of our local bottle shops. What can they expect if they go to Vegas or New York? So, we were talking about this. So. I have zero plans on mine yet because I want to see how Sean was going to hear first, talk to Mike, because I want to do something different than what we've done. So yeah. now I'm going to go home and start putting together a plan. You know, Now I'm going to start putting different aspects into it where it's not just a bottle share. It is more of an experience, more right. of a destination. Because that was the whole thing. I, like I told Sean, I was like, it's it's kind of a blessing and a curse. You got to go first. You got to go first because I you set the bar, yeah. but you also got to go first. And now I can see what you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And not as a competition, but now I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> this is not an experience. You don't like, have to enhance it. To make exactly. It more better, and then better. now, guess what? Yeah. Well, I'm next. And then yeah. now it's his turn. He's going to be like, well, okay, Sean did this. Chris did this. He's like, okay, I can do that. And then add this to it. So by the time he gets to Maryland, like he's probably going to have the best one because he's going to yeah. go to all four. And he's he's going to yeah. he's gonna take the best part of all of what we did and move. No yeah. offense to Maryland, but it's nothing good in Maryland. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, Both on the radio. Er, earlier, we was talking about uh, Vegas. I, I need to yeah. think about it. Yeah. The reason why you need to support Destination Bottle Share series from Dallas to Vegas to New York to Maryland because we got the dopest fucking glasses out there. 
Yeah, if your so glass, if fair. your glass, I got two is, from your cancer. Is, is, it's so, doper uh, than ours, because for <laughs> people don't realize, four destinations, four glasses, all four of the glasses collaborate. So if you got a glass today, it's gonna blend with Vegas. Mm. It's gonna blend with New York. What? It's gonna blend with Maryland. Swallow that. I'm trying to tell you. Well, I'm a little disappointed. Maryland ain't not here right you now. You got to come back all yeah. four. It was like a little last minute for him, though. No, yeah. that's yeah. To be well, fair. Well, all yeah. fair. I'm just talking shit. So and, he, and, and he did send us beer, too. No, he yeah. sent some amazing yeah. beer yeah. up from Maryland. Yeah. So that was dope. He yeah. sent those 10 layer cakes. Yeah. Which, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. pass on that, Maryland. We should. I'll let you pass. Even though Even though I say there's nothing in Maryland besides water. Swallow it. But it's all right. Swallow it. So if you get a chance to, if you don't make it to Vegas, Blog, Instagram, dot D- DM the shit out of everybody, especially my boy Chris, to get those glasses because you got to collect all four. Well, yeah, it's, first a of all, you gotta it's a series. It's a series. Well, let's talk about. Let's also talk about our social media so we can also just make sure to reiterate throwing this it's insane podcast. We're talking a little bit of everything. We got to reiterate your, everybody's <laughs> social media. Squad. Dallas Beer Squad. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, staple of the podcast. We love you guys. Thank you, Sean. Do you follow him on. If you don't follow him yet, definitely Skeet, follow Skeet. him on uh, social media. Beer Zombie, Instagram and Facebook or yeah. Twitter. Yep. Mm-hmm. All of it. All of it. Follow him. Just, if you just Google Beer Zombie, you're going to find him. Support him on all A-O-L. social media. See you guys well. Shoot me an A message. Hot hot mail? From hot skater mail? boy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you got hot mail, you're popping. That's it. That's, that's, that's the I'm still got Yahoo, Ski Ski. So do I. Beer Canvas, uh, all on social media? Across the board. So Facebook, Twitter, and, Instagram. And the website, man. Yeah, what? Oh, and the website too? Yeah, yeah, the Beer Zombie website, website yeah. Beer Canvas website, yep. and then uh, Maryland Mob, the same thing? Maryland Mob, yep. yep. So all people, across the board. Maryland Mob holds it down. Support yeah. everybody. Uh, Destination Bottle Share as well, if you follow them on Instagram. Uh, they're going to continue to post some pictures and information on there. And the cool thing about that... Instagram is all four of us have access to it, so we all four post pictures. So you'll be able to kind of see like different styles of photos and pictures because yeah. all four of us are added to it. Nice, yeah. very nice. So definitely follow, support everybody here. I really you're nice enough to say who who it was. Cheers, beer zombie. Yeah. For me, it's just you see a bunch of emotion. Well, because that way somebody, yeah, somebody, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ask, like ask a question on it, they know who they're addressing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. if somebody wants to know something specifically about the picture, and it's just a habit I do in all my pictures. It, I think it's cool though because it gives like a personal touch, and like you know that all all four of us are on there, and we're all like. Talking to you at the same time, so it's another way to connect with us and get involved in the events. Yeah. Well, I want to say uh, it's been a great event. Uh, you guys all did a great job. But it was cool. It was really cool to see a lot of stuff you don't see here in our market and stuff, and to, to experience you guys that are from different parts of the country. So yeah, it's it cool, awesome. man. Uh, it was a good time. Was big, big props to all you guys. We look forward to the next events for sure. So, yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, and we look forward to. Uh, Vegas. 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 Follow everybody on social media. What I want to say is also don't drink and drive. We're going to take a lift. I'm not driving home. We'll take a lift. Also follow Destination Beer. More posts coming up. More information. If you can't make it to Vegas, make it to New York. Can't make it to New York. Make it to Maryland. <laughs> Do your best to make it to all four. If you want to steal glasses, talk to Sean. Ski, ski, ski. So, uh, I love it. Bottles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And also, don't come stealing no more bottles. I know who you are. You stole a bottle today. We first, we, oh. we, first of all, first of all, <laughs> as, 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 we, as, we, as we're leaving, as we're leaving, you ruined Sean's day for a little bit. Whoever stole that bottle, he didn't say who it was. He didn't, he didn't say who it was, but fuck you. He didn't out you. He didn't out you. Black shoes, white socks. I saw the white socks. Still in beer. And you stole a cheap ass brewery. Saying it's a white On that note, on that note, we love you guys. Have a safe weekend. More information to come. Peace. Swallow it. You can make me mad again.